I'm making delicious Thai fish cakes. Hi, my name's Roger Osborne. These are the fish cakes that I'm always talking about in my fishing video. So tonight I'm making them with the salmon that I caught in my last video. I'm gonna take you right through the recipe. Now I have a free PDF with all of the details. So make sure that you look out for that link in this video because you can download it and get the recipe. So make sure that you like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's get started cooking. So I've got the salmon that I caught, um, which I've filleted. I've removed the bloodline. You can see the fillets look fantastic. And I'm gonna put these in my food processor. I'm actually not using all of the salmon because I think there's too much to fit in here. And guys, I'm not even gonna weigh this. I'm just guesstimating, I'm gonna put in what I think is roughly about a kilo of flesh. I don't wanna fill the food processor too full. Okay, all righty. To this approximately one kilo of fish, I'm adding, adding a couple of teaspoons of garlic to that. Now I'm going to put the lid on the food processor and blend this or pulse it. Okay, so there we go. You can see that fish, it's all quite nicely minced up in there. So now I'm gonna put the other ingredients in. So I have some red curry paste. I've got a kilo here, so I'm putting in six teaspoons of this. The recipe actually allows for half a kilo of fish flesh and you use three teaspoons, but because I've got roughly a kilo, I'm putting six teaspoons of the red curry paste. The next thing that I'm doing is I'm adding fish sauce. I've got my fish sauce here. This is a tablespoon measure. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of fish sauce in here, so I'm just gonna whack this in and do another one. The next thing is I have some kaffir lime that I've finely sliced. This is a kaffir lime leaf, and basically you remove the vein from the center of the leaf and then finely shred it. I'm gonna sprinkle my kaffa lime in there. Look at that, that looks lovely. Now the last thing I'm going to put in here is the coriander. People either love or hate coriander. I love coriander in anything. So I've got my roughly chopped coriander here that I'm putting in. Now you'll notice that there's no flowers, no gluten, no, this is a gluten-free recipe. <laughs> I'm just gonna stir this in a little bit. So essentially, really, all this is, is minced up fish flesh with a few spices and some coriander. And there's only a couple more steps to do. So we've whacked all that in the food processor. I'm gonna get it going again. This is a really good recipe because essentially it's just protein mixed with herbs and spices. Uh, that's it. So very um, healthy from that point of view. Uh, no added fats or anything like that. Now, there's a variation. I make the patties straight from this and fry them up. That's it. However, a great variation is actually to mix some mashed potato through it. So you can have some, you know, with the mashed potato folded through or just some straight the way they are. So I'm going to make two batches. I'm going to split this now into two bowls. And one of the bowls, I'm going to put mashed potato that I've already made. Now, I just want to make a note. With the mashed potato, it's purely potato, nothing else added. Uh, no milk, no moisture of any kind, no butter. I've drained the potatoes so that they're dry, then just mash that dry mix. Otherwise, it's too wet when you mix it in with the fish. So you just want pure potato that's been mashed up a bit, and you're going to mix that in with the fish. The next step is to add some relatively finely chopped green beans. Just your normal beans that you buy at the supermarket, and I've chopped them up pretty thinly. These are great because they add a nice crunch to the Thai fish cakes. So I'm gonna put some of the green beans in that one, some of the green beans in that one. Just gonna roughly fold the green beans in. So I've got two pretty much equal amounts of Thai fish cakes. One of them is gonna be just the straight recipe, which is actually the recipe. Then I've got my potato that I've mashed up. Potato is often used in, you know, rissoles and fish cake recipes and stuff like that. So now I'm going to work the potato 
through the fish flesh. Now I'm going to make some patties from each of these batches, the straight and the one with the potato. Now I always just have a little bowl of water because otherwise it sticks to your fingers. So all I'm going to do is grab a bit of this beautiful Thai fish cake mixture and just simply flatten it out into I guess like a small, small hamburger patty. I'm not making them too big. These would be great in fish burgers. These, yeah, they make fantastic fish burgers, really good. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more spicy than the one with the potato because the, the potato tempers the spices a bit. Um, so I've made a couple of patties there. Now I'm going to come over to the potato mix. It's going to form it into a bit of a ball, flatten it out. I like to use an oil that has a fairly high burn temperature. So I don't use olive oil. Olive oil is better for salad dressings, etc., because it burns at a relatively low temperature. So I'm using peanut oil. You can use that or rice bran oil. Now I'm going to cook the pure protein ones first, and then I'll cook the carb, carb loaded ones in the second batch. But what I like to do, I want to put one in to test and see if the oil is hot enough. It's looking like it's heated up pretty well. So let's just see. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think I can put these other ones in as well. So I've just made four of them. I've got, I've got a lot more over there, so I'll be doing a couple of batches. Look at that. Very good. Now, I like to use a spatula and a pair of tongs just to get underneath the, tie, the fish cake, just in case it sticks a little bit. I just loosen it and then I just flip it with the tongs. So, these have been sizzling for really probably only about one minute. I think I'll just give it a fraction longer. It's probably long enough. Yeah, look at that. It's a nice, nice golden color. Get this guy. Okay, so I just want to give it another minute or so on that side. I don't want to dry them out. They look like they're just about ready to go. So I'm going to take these ones out and then put the potato batch in. Okay, so they are our protein ones. So now we're going to put the, uh, the second batch and you know that as soon as we switch this video off, we're going to be eating these guys. <laughs> I'm very hungry. Now these potato ones may be a little bit more fragile for flipping because the potato has been put in the mix. So I've got to be a bit more gentle when I'm turning them over. They're pretty good though. They're not falling apart at all. There you go. Okay, so I think these potato ones are ready. So I'm going to get them out. Let's whack them on the tray here. So if you guys would like this recipe, make sure that you hit the link and get your free PDF download. And also that you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And please put your comments down below. And I'd love to hear from you once you've made this recipe. It would be great to get your feedback. And I look forward to seeing you really soon.